So basically the foundation of this, figure this out today, you want to take your bass track, which we will record, and you want to subtract the spaces from it. Um, so I'm going to use this woofer 11 bass. And we'll go ahead and quickly record a MIDI track. Cool. We're going to go ahead and bounce that to audio. Command T for an audio track. Resampling. Record arm and solo. Beautiful. So, let me go ahead and dispose of that so it doesn't throw us off. And now what we're going to do is we're going to drag this up here. Zoom in super fine. Go ahead and change your grid to narrowest. Otherwise this will be tough. And just simply use this. I'm actually going to save this first. Extract the groove. I'm going to save it as export version 1. Drop that groove pool. And then you go ahead and you just simply subtract all the spaces from the waveform. Now it's important to do the spaces because if you think about it, where the MIDI clip is playing is that's where the rhythm is at. Um, so you want there to be audio where, that, where those clips are. Um, and there's no real pretty process to this. It's basically just manual labor, but it sounds pretty cool in the end. All right, so now that we have the clip, go ahead and mute this. This is what it sounds like. So, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and clean it up a little bit. So, I typically like to make it fall. On a downbeat. So, we'll bring it to that one. We'll make sure it's on the downbeat. Not early. We'll bring off this 32 grid right there. All right, so that sounds good rhythm rhythmically. As far as a sound, it sounds like. <laughs> so let's let's tidy it up and and make things sound a little bit more appealing to the ear. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and find a basic click sound. Let's use let's use this. So what we'll do is we'll pitch it up. We'll go into the MIDI file itself. We'll consolidate it first. I don't know why I did that. We could do that. All right, and then command all. Shift up on the arrow pad to bring it up. Octave. We'll bring it one more. Cool. And we'll EQ the crap out of it. Make it just a click. And we'll add a little reverb to it afterwards. So we want to take all the low end out of it for sure. And bring up the highs. it down. 
now. All right, and we'll add some delay to it, or reverb. Smaller size room. High quality. Cool. Now, go ahead and we will add a kick in there. So we'll go into our samples, type in kick, without it now, we'll find something heavy. like that one. Why not? So we'll go ahead and drop it into a new audio clip. Make sure when we look at it that it starts from the right spot. And then what I did earlier is I brought one there. Dropped one over here. Make sure it lines up. If not, trim it so that it does and then hit reverse. So this is what we got. Now we can bring that down. And I'm actually thinking I want to use a different kick. So that sounds pretty cool. Now what we could do is create a new audio track, Command T, drag this up, and this is more for effects pur purposes. We already got the desired result as far as rhythmically with that exponential rhythm. And we're using those kicks and the clicks to accent the rhythms. Um, the clicks accent the exponential rhythm and the kicks will accent the uh, the rhythmic aspect of the time that you are in. So, for example, if we throw in this metronome, you know, we get we get the sense of rhythm in the song. Um, now, what we're doing is kind of just embellishing that bass sound. This isn't necessary, um, and you can do this in your own way. Um, there is no right way to be doing this, but this is just kind of like a little fun way I found. So, what I'm doing is we're going in opening up the envelopes again um, like like we just did we uh, we duplicated this track and then dragged it out so that the initial hit the initial hit is right on the one and what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring a cool transposition in here so we're gonna come over here and do transposition modulation we're gonna Grab it up here. Let's start it at two octaves, just to get funky with it. And drag it down below the octave. Huh. Oh, you gotta bring it to uh, complex. go into almost any drop you create that could go into the middle of a song. There's so many different applications for this. You don't even have to do it for bass. You could do this for any clip of audio, like, like vocals or anything like that. 
um, but it's a very useful tool and it could add some variety to your songs. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you did get something from this, I'll be doing a lot more um, similar to this as far as production and um, sound design. So uh, feel free to subscribe to the channel and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.